Hello everybody, welcome back to my Techtopia series with me, Galactic E Gamer. This episode, we are jumping right into the building, but before we do that, guys, I just want to speed you guys up to what happened in the last episode and give you guys a rundown of what's happening in this episode. So, last episode, we built a lot of stuff over at my main base and that all turned out really well and I highly recommend that you guys go watch that as there was a lot of amazing builds. This episode, we are starting a new project. So I have transported one horse over for mobility, and we are out in a brand new area, which is basically an island if I open up the map here. So I just zoom out here, you guys can see this is the island that we're dealing with. So just for reference, this is a little bit east of Horse Point Pass. So this area right here is Horse Point Pass between the sandbar with the eye in the middle and my base is over here or what will be my base it's where we've been for almost all of the season or series anyway so we are that far away for reference from our main base so we're all the way out here because we are playing with a new mod today actually a lot of new mods today uh, there's about 40 extra mods added between this episode and the last episode, just for reference. So, things are a little bit more brightened up. I can crouch for a one and a half block deal, so I can fit under things, which I find really cool. And there's also some other bits and bobs, but the biggest one that we're going to be playing with today is Fossils and Archaeology Revival. This is going to be so much fun, so that is why I have come out here to a new project base. Because we are going to terraform everything, we're going to play with some dinosaurs, get to do some archaeology. It's going to be a blast, and I am so excited to get started. So, without further ado, let's get right into a time lapse, because I think it's building time. That took a lot of work to empty out a lot of the ocean. I left three chunks here for a nice stairway and entrance to something massive. But that's enough building for right now. I want to show you guys more in depth if I had to get started with the fossils and archaeology mod. So what you want to do is you're going to want to find your nearest cave or you want to do a lot of bulk mining. You're good. Okay, he's good. Anyway, you're going to want to find some of these fossil pieces. And then you're going to take either your silk touch, or you're just going to have a normal pickaxe, or I believe these work with fortune, but I'm not sure. And I don't have my fortune pick on me to do any of that. So we are just going to 
mine these out. So I'm going to be using FTB Ulta mine here, and I'm just going to mine that out. These mine really quick. So to make a really easy start, you're going to want to find an absolute ton of these things because you are going to need three or four stacks to start off with, and you're going to always have to come back for more if you want to do more with this mod. It is all dependent on getting fossil pieces. So I'm just going to mine all these up. Oh, you guys saw a preview of that one. Come on, shapeless. Come on. There we go. Okay. So let's just come out of here. I think that's all the... Nope, I'm mistaken. I'm just going to grab the rest of these veins. That was a pretty big one. So they can range from anywhere from one small ch bit or one block to like six or seven blocks and even bigger. So if you just want to take a look around your caves or basically anywhere where there's a surface, like down here there's a cave and ah bingo right here in the corner and that one come on okay so that one was just two oh looks like four maybe anyway i'll have to seal this big hole off later but uh so once you come out and you've got all yours take a look at your inventory and you will see a bunch of pieces so we have Relic scraps, plant fossils, biofossils, diplocalus leg bone, and a bunch of other dinosaur pieces. You also might find ancient helmet pieces or broken swords, other things. Uh, skull blocks can be used as a light source just by going skull lantern with a torch. So that's a pretty nice way to light up your bases with a piratey or gothic feel if you're going for more of a skull or a graveyard maybe uh, i don't want to make one of those right now uh you're gonna get plenty of bones and more dinosaur pieces what we're really looking for right now are the biofossils plant fossils and the relic scraps all these will come into handy with other things but these are going to be our main parts that we're going to be playing with so using Stilt Touch, you can actually bring the block up to a place where you want to mine it with a fortune. So I have located my fortune pick, and we're going to see if we get any more from this. So shapeless, and no, I do not think you get extra, because those two were there before. And then bones, ancient helmet, skull, more bones. Yeah, so basically... All the stuff that you can get from that is in this chest. I'm just going to dump a few of the things. So that is the table that you're looking at. And all these bones are different. So leg bone, foot, dip low. I can't even say it. But these are all different dinosaurs. I'm not sure what to do with these quite yet. Hold on. Let's see. Uses. Are there any uses for these? Uh, bone meal. Oh, you can get bone... Bone boots. And leggings. And then the analyzer. There's a chance to get... Oh. So we need to put these in. The analyzer is for iron ingots and... Biofossil relic scrap. Oh, we got plenty of that. Biofossil. Which one's bio? Okay, those... Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, crafting table, recipe. Move all those in, and we can get four analyzers. Cool, let's do this. And I got an advancement for research time. Sweet. Okay, we'll put these... Uh, huh, hmm, hmm. Man, this is going to be a mess. I'm going to have to build myself a proper outpost here. But whatever. <laughs> they look so scientific. Okay, so we need to put... We put these in there as well. Yes. Oh, I see. These are used for the workbench. Okay. So, what else can we put in the analyzer? Hold on. Uh, uses. 
Oh, that's a lot of recipes. Okay, so plant fossil is looking like what we need to get. Plant fossil. Okay, so those do come in here as well. Uh, and then the different respective bones. Okay, I think I know what we're supposed to do now. So while the analyzers were working, I was able to craft up another sifter, which can be crafted, I believe, from any wood planks. So five of those planks, three string, and one iron bar will get you one sifter. And I have just made another contraption similar to that one. Basically, we're just going to plug these in. If I can... Nope. Shift. There we go. And we're just going to place these all in there. And this should be hopperable. I haven't checked. Uh, that's tar. I'm not looking for tar right now. Uh, so we're looking for sand. I put it in one of these shelf boxes. Ah, here we go. So we need a lot of sand to power this thing. So we're just going to take a handful. And we'll just put this in the top section. And that will start unloading. And we're just going to fill the entire thing up with two shulker boxes with the sand. Because we get some really nifty things out of this. So, yeah, that should be going. And that should be going. And I just need to get the other side. So we'll just take all of the sand from both the shulker boxes. Almost. And we'll just put that in here for now. That should be enough. Actually, I'll just empty the whole thing. That way I don't have to worry about it and I get two empty shulker boxes. I will have to empty those two massive sand holes, or sand fills that I've made. And that way I can get my sand back. But uh, these should all be working. Awesome. Texture's changing. That's good. And excellent. So we are getting some fossilized stung. And plant fossils. Uh, nothing good yet, but we can get some fairly good items. Uh, if I just go into inventory. And we'll just look up the sifter here. So sifter. And then we'll just go for uses. So not a very good smelting item. But if we use dirt, we can get sand. Dominican Amber, 14%. Uh, and if we flip all the way to sand. Sand is this one right here. So we can get sand back. Which I find really weird. Um, sand can also be Dominican Amber. Or plant fossil. I think there's two more. No, three more. So potato, carrot, bone meal. And then we can get some fern spores. Pottery shards. Or more bio fossils and then it will go into red sand and other different things so that's what you can get from these and the sand is all in so yeah this was basically what we can get we're just missing the dominican amber but that is a very rare drop from these things i might get one for all that sand so let's see how our analyzers are doing Hey, that's not bad. We're getting some different DNA bits. Got some fossilized saplings, or petrified saplings. A little bit of flint. We got a Steve figurine. Stone tablets. I'm not sure what those are quite yet. And what about the other side here? Much the same stuff. We got a pottery shard. A little bit. We got less DNA on this side, but... That's okay, and we're going to make back our sand and gravel, so... Ooh, we got some fossilized Sagan no Pateris seeds. And that's going to wrap up the episode, guys. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys comment down below if you have any ideas. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. And do yourself a favor by subscribing. Not only will it help you out so that you don't miss the next video, but it also helps my channel out so it just gets a little bit bigger. With that, guys... Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.